The virtual planning has been a, a tremendous benefit for us as physicians planning the surgery and obviously the benefit is for the patient for the outcomes. Again, because of the exacting detail that we can see, uh, especially applicable when we do what we call jaw surgery or orthognathic surgery. When we're moving the jaws specifically a certain distance, millimeter per millimeter, and that's important because the teeth have to line up as well. Uh, so it's really, it's helped us tremendously with that. Let's use an example of one of our orthognathic surgery patients or our jaw surgery patients to demonstrate how virtual surgical planning can assist us in the operating room. First of all, all jaw surgery, orthognathic surgery, involves coordinated care between the craniofacial team and our orthodontic colleagues. The orthodontists are very important to all of this work and we've worked with orthodontists from Chicago to as far away as New York in taking care of our patients who've come to see us. When the teeth are in proper alignment and ready for surgery, your orthodontist will obtain dental molds for us. These can be done with 3D printing, imaging, or even uh, with impressions that we're all familiar with in the dentist's office. This will show us how your teeth want to come together after surgery is finished. We're then able to take these models and mount them in conjunction with a three-dimensional CAT scan of the head and neck onto the computer, and that's what this image does for us. This patient has hemifacial microsomia, most likely a Przanski's class one or two, depending on the height and the side of the mandible. You can see how her lower jaw and face slant off to one side and gives a very weak uh, skeletal structure on the patient's right side, angles of the nose, changes how her teeth come together. Interestingly, she also had a cleft lip and palate, which makes this surgery a little more complex. The first step on the computer is then to move the upper jaw as we would do so in surgery. So using the computer, we can make those cuts and reposition the upper jaw in the new orientation that we want. For this patient, the left side came up as the right side came down. There's a space for an interpositional bone graft, etc. but the first part of the procedure is done on the computer. We're then able to fabricate a splint to guide those procedures in the operating room. The second part in the operating room will be to reposition the lower jaw or the hemifacial component and hold this in its new orientation. Uh, technically, we just prefer an inverted L osteotomy on that side compared to a sagittal split on the normal side. Those are the technical approaches, but we're able to do that on the computer and even recreate the area that we will need to bone graft at the end of the surgery. The computer helps us determine the size of the bone graft we need to take, exactly how it will fit together, and you can see how we've straightened out the facial profile as well as the occlusion and the horizontal uh, approach. Again, in conjunction with your orthodontist, virtual planning allows us to be accurate within a millimeter and not have any guesswork within the operating room. One of the best examples of the precision that virtual surgical planning can bring to the oper operation is you know, kind of demonstrated here in the maxilla or the upper jaw motion. After the models are wed to the three-dimensional CAT scan onto the computer, we look at how in our study patient, we're going to move the maxilla up on the right and down on the left. And by adjusting the resolution of the CAT scan, we can see down to the millimeter where the tooth roots are located, making sure those are preserved and safe throughout the entire procedure. For this patient, the maxilla is coming up six millimeters on the right side and coming down five to give us a perfectly horizontal occlusion. And we know by the transposition of the dental roots that will be well out of the danger zone for those teeth and keeping them well preserved and viable. The same safety is applied to the lower jaw. When we move the lower jaw, we can also see the location of the nerves and the structures that provide sensation to the lower lips and keep that risk to a minimum as well. Once again, VPS has really brought a great degree of precision and uh, specificity to the uh, orthognathic jaw surgery. Mm -hmm.